it's Monday, you're at your desk, you turn on your computer, you open your email, and the first email that you read makes you want to go. <laughs> it's an email that you did Friday, an email that you spend five to 10 minutes on just to get it right. You even highlighted some parts of it. And the person you sent it to, let's say, let's call her Donna, either she didn't read it at all or she scammed through it real quickly and she sent you back the wrong information or she sends you back a curt answer or a very shady, nasty one. Nasty one. You have two options. You could either send her a nasty email in return and say, you know, good morning, Donna. Um, I see that you didn't read my email thoroughly. Please read it again and get back to me as soon as possible. Now that can cause a lot of strife and it can cause Donna not to just answer your email. Or you can um, make your email drip with honey, you know, honey, honey. <laughs> That's what I do when I get an email like that. I, you could say, you know, good morning, Donna. How was your weekend? I hope it was great. The weather was fine. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I guess you were very busy Friday when I sent you this email. I'm going to resend it again. Please read it at your leisure and then get back to me. That will cause a lot of heartache. It puts all the blame on you, not on lazy Donna. And you can start your work week on a high note instead of already just before you, even before you sat down, that you're thinking that this day is going to be terrible because you got to deal with this email. But if you handle it correctly, it will really work in your favor. Have a good Monday. Have a great week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.